I, I never really saw myself as owning a business or being a machine shop owner, especially like even when we first started, you know, it was like, it wasn't even really necessarily the dream. I, I just wanted to have more control over like the parts that I was doing and the parts that I was making. And I just love machining. So what happened was I was working at Black & Decker. I, it's a great job. I have nothing bad to say about it. it was It's the best place I've ever worked outside of working for myself. But I felt like I had hit the ceiling in the shop where I was at. I came home and I was like, yeah, I was all upset and uh, we ended up going over to my sister's house and I'm kind of like moping, you know, and like down. Kevin, um, who's my business partner now, my brother-in-law came home and so I'm kind of telling him, you know, what had happened and he's like, well, you know, I believe in you, you know, and I, I think we can probably start our own shop. And I'm like, well, let's do it, you know? So yes, yeah, some, some of the worst things turned into the best things, you know? I love that story with you because it's like so many times, like even even on God's path, you know something's gonna happen and, and you think that this is how I'm created and this is the, how the whole perfect scenario will work out and you get set that this is what has to happen to find success. And then when it doesn't, you're devastated because you made this whole thing up in your head. And yet all of a sudden God comes from the side and he gives you something so far greater and you realize I truly was fully prepared and I walked all these levels to actually do this. Well, we've gone through some hard times with this uh, starting shop, you know. When I quit Black & Decker to go full time, I had, I wanna say we had $3,000 in our personal account maybe. <laughs> it wasn't a lot. And we had about, <laughs> we had about $3,000 in Loper machine. And so I had taken this titanium job and um, and, and the, it was an exometry job and the job, the job paid $18,000. And for us, that was like, I need this to come together, you know? And I had reached out to you and I had done some titanium before, but mostly turning and um, not like crazy milling. And this was like gonna be 100% milling. And so you had helped me with like messaging back and forth on speeds and feeds and, you know, kind of like your go-to numbers and, yeah. And um, so you helped me through that job, and we got that job done. We got paid for that job. Where were you at on on this? Were you like, oh, dang, um, we're gonna actually start a new company? You know, it was it was a lot at first because he was working a full time job and then going into work. And we had our first son Brooks at the time, so I was home. I felt like a single mom at that point. I was yeah. like, I need help. <laughs> no um, doubt. Yes, because he was. It was nonstop, you know, he would leave in the morning and he wouldn't come home till super late at night. Wow. So, yeah. yeah, we've talked about that before. There is getting started, especially, but just this industry, it does. It takes so much time and effort to get the ball rolling and get things going. But we talked about that. It is it is a lot of hours at the shop. Good for you for being there for support. Yeah. And then now the family's like growing and you have a company that actually takes care of your family and uh, it all worked out, man. Yeah. But it's, it's a awesome. grind still every it's, day. It's a grind. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. But you're right. It's, you say it all the time, right? This industry helps you feed your family, take care of your family. It becomes like your life because it's like, I, I love this company. It's, it's me and my wife talk about it. I go home. People say, don't talk about work at home. And it's like, this is our lives. Like, this is literally our lives and we love it and then uh yeah and then our family and our, all our employees and yep. the vision the mission and, and all of it but i just think it's the coolest thing manufacturing that so many people don't know what it is and yet you can get into it and you're not working for anybody else you're working for yourself how many how much dues you pay at the beginning and, and all of that like later on it comes back and then all of a sudden so long you got talent right and you make the right moves is taking care of your kids and one day your kids have an opportunity that hey if you want to go do something great and you guys are qualified and you can do it then go do it but here's something also that's amazing that we have that our family owns a shop <laughs>